Hello, I'm Nilva Picard and welcome to the channel. Today I want to talk about Crutch Guard. Uh, Crutch Guard is an anti-chafing skin oil. Now then, originally I was going to test several sorts of chammy cream and then I thought to myself, well, chammy cream is really expensive and some of them are going to be naff and then at the end of the test I'm going to end up having spent a load of money with a year's worth of chamois cream none of which will be good and then because some of it's not good I'll end up having to go and buy good chamois cream um, so I thought I won't do that and full disclosure I was given this tester for free but I haven't been paid to do this review and I don't get paid to do reviews in fact I don't get paid at all so trust me if a product sucks I will tell you now then I've been using this crotch guard for just over a week and I have to say it's flipping awesome the way that saddle sores work is that when you sweat you end up sat in your sweat in your bib shorts and the water against your skin softens your skin like when you're in the bath and you get wrinkly fingers or when you swim and you get wrinkly fingers and then the salt along with just the fact that skin's very grippy when it's damp can leave you red, sore, bleeding, and even you can get infected. And if you get infected, it's a very, very bad day. Now then, Crotch Guard aims to solve all that. The way that Crotch Guard works is you apply it to your skin and it stops your skin absorbing that salt water and sitting in that salt water and it helps your bib shorts to wick away at that moisture and leave you dry so that you don't get saddle sores. Now then, the way that Crutch Guard helps to prevent that is that Crutch Guard is an, a light oil. So the oil soaks into your skin and to a certain extent sits on top of the skin and stops the moisture softening your skin. So the moisture is wicked away by your bib shorts instead of sitting next to your skin and, and damaging you. Um, it's also antibacterial and hypoallergenic and has no perfume whatsoever so for those of you with sensitive parts this is the oil for you um, I used to work on a beach when I was a teenager doing water sports and because I was doing water sports I was in and out of the water all day long salt water just like sweat and I would end up sore and chafed and on occasions bleeding and I used to spend 45 uh, euros a bottle on some stuff a similar size to this to help me not get sore and it worked now then it was 45 euros a bottle which is absolute extortion however when you are sore you will pay any money not to be sore so 45 euros a bottle was worth it now then, Crutch Guard works just as well as the stuff that I used to use back then, which was designed for wheelchair athletes and people in wheelchairs. Only Crutch Guard isn't 45 euros a bottle. Crutch Guard is £6.50 a bottle. £6.50. Seriously, like, <laughs> it's brilliant. Now then, it, there are a few things that Crutch Guard won't help with. It won't help with bruised sit bones. Bruised sit bones is a combination of saddle and bib shorts and getting that right combination can be difficult and it can be a process it won't help with flap mash for you ladies <laughs> flap mash has been tr trending all week on twitter and if you're a lady cyclist you probably know what it is uh, but it will help stop you getting infected if you do get bruised and sore um, there is that bonus now then I used a saddle that I knew I wouldn't get on with in order to fully test this oil because my normal combination plus the fact that I've been cycling for years so my sit bones are damn right leathery um, means that I don't usually get sore. Now then using a combination of Spanish summer heat and the wrong saddle for me I forgot to put this on one day and I was raw. Having said that, Crutch Guard do say that you can put their product on after 
you've had your shower, after you've had your ride, if you are sore at the end of a ride. I did and it didn't, it wasn't soothing, although if you put it in the fridge, um, that, that worked. <laughs> Crutch guard put in the fridge after a ride, if you've got a sore backside, is awesome. Um, and is incredibly soothing. And I was better within half an hour. It was just like, oh, it was such a relief because I forgot to put it on in the morning and I was incredibly sore when I got home and after I had my shower and this stuff saved me. So I wouldn't just suggest this product to a bottle this big and it does well over 40 applications crash guards say 40 applications but i mean i've been riding for a week and i've used that much i wouldn't just suggest crotch guard for cyclists i would also suggest it to for runners because if you are getting sore because you are sweating when you're running like in between your legs or underneath your armpits you know my dad was a fell runner for years and there were occasions when he used to come home and under his armpits would be red raw, especially on hot, sweaty days. Uh, if you're a triathlete, you know, you're running, then you're in the water, then you're on a bike, and it is a recipe for chafing. And if you are doing triathlon after triathlon through summer, if you are a wheelchair athlete, I'm fully aware of how extortionate some products are that are aimed for your community. And I would fully suggest this product if you a surfer and you're in and out of the sea onto your surfboard off your surfboard repeatedly i know that your grundle can get sore in that salt water so no matter what sort of athlete you are if you get chafed if you get sore try crutch guard because at the end of the day it's six pounds fifty and it is possibly the cheapest easiest solution for any sort of chafing why chafe when you don't have to? Why suffer when you don't have to? And why suffer when £6.50 can sort it out? So I suggest to every single person watching this video to go out there and get yourself a bottle and try it. Um, another added bonus that I noticed is that at the end of rides, when I go home, this may be too much information, and take my bib shorts off, they aren't smelly. Because obviously, I'm, if I'm riding for 10 hours, like you're gonna get smelly bib shorts. You know, you're sweating, it's sports. And we all know we get sweaty. Like why, why do I even, isn't it weird that I feel timid about talking about this stuff? Um, but yeah, when, you get home, when I get home, take off my bib shorts. My bib shorts are usually pretty rough. Um, when I've used crutch guard, they don't smell at all. I can't, I can't endorse anything better than that. Even if you just use it to stop your chamois smelling, that's worth it in my opinion. Um, I won't be just labeling this video as cycling specific because I think that this product can help many more people than just cyclists. Because that's what I'm all about. I'm all about us having a community where we can help as many people as, as possible to be happy and healthy and enjoy doing sports and enjoy being active and enjoy being out there. And part of that is not having a sore bleeding grundle. So it doesn't matter whether you're a man, doesn't matter whether you're a woman, doesn't matter whether you're a cyclist, triathlete, wheelchair athlete, flipping tennis player, runner, surfer. If you get sore, if you get chafed, try this stuff out. And at the end of the day, it's six pounds fifty. So like I say guys, it's well worth a try. And they're a lovely company. I've also been contacted by Crutchguard USA, completely unrelated to this review, um, and they just wanted to say hi. <laughs> they're, they're a really nice bunch of people in the US and a really nice bunch of people in the UK, all working hard to make sure that your grundle doesn't hurt, um, or, or that your lady bits don't hurt. So they're a good company to support, they're a nice bunch of people, and they make a product that works. It really works. Um, so guys, lube yourselves up, stay safe out there, stay sane, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye. Let's fill the space with you, we might be with what happens today.